And then Richard Spencer got punched in the face, right? Which was an amazing moment <laughs> in comedy history. Right? Because, I don't know if you know, Richard Spencer was being interviewed, and in the interview he was asked about his Pepe the Frog badge. So he was trying to explain a meme, and then out of nowhere a hero came along and punched him in the face, instantly turning him into a meme. It's like casting a spell. And then every white liberal came out of the woodworks going, mm, I don't know, I don't know if that's what we should be doing. Should we really be applauding someone for punching a Nazi? Is that how we want to have political conversation? Shouldn't we hear people out? If you punch a Nazi, it doesn't make you as bad as one. You know what we should do with Nazis? We should debate them, and we should defeat them in the marketplace of ideas. I don't really know where that is. Uh, I would like to defeat Nazis on planet Earth first. And then after we eradicate them here, you can fight them in the marketplace of ideas. Fucking Narnia, Mordor. Whatever. Whatever imaginary realm it is that you think Nazis can be constructively debated, go for it, right? People get very upset. Oh. Oh, do you support political violence? Do you want me to support political? Oh, just slow down, okay? Do I support political violence? We're talking about punching fascists in the face, not suicide bombing, okay? Relax. Do I, why do I support political Why the fuck are you a volunteer Nazi safety advocate is my question. That's a funny thing to be concerned about, the well-being of hypothetical Nazis. Well, it's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. Who gets to decide? Who gets to decide who gets punched in the face? If you punch a Nazi, who's next? Hopefully more Nazis. Why would, you, why would you only punch one? That doesn't seem right.